What is going on, YouTube? Sony Gaming here, and back with another episode of a guide to Ark Survival Evolved. Now, if you do remember in the last episode, we went ahead and did the very, very, very basics and getting everything situated as far as our base and everything else is concerned. Now, we did go over everything as far as our stats are concerned, everything as far as our Ingrams are concerned, and how to build and such. So, we're just going to continue going in that direction. And I do want to thank you all so very much for the support on the last video. Uh, definitely is truly appreciated. Again, I couldn't be doing this without you all, so thank you all so very much for that. I don't think my high enough level for the bow. I am, but I need levels. Okay, so just <laughs> fair warning. Um, it is late for me, and I am feeling a bit under the weather, so I might sound a little different or I might be a little weird so just giving you a fair warning on that one um, but you're going to find out really quickly when it comes to arc that you're going to be it's a very very grindy game now when I say that you know I just leveled up but it's going to take a little bit to, to go in the right direction as far as levels are concerned um, so but just keep progressing keep doing what you're doing and eventually you will get there. Uh, I need wood and fiber. I think I have that in my hut. But again, it's going to be very grindy. Um, but ultimately, it will be worth it. Trust me. I guarantee you it will be worth it. Once you get up to, you know, a certain level, you're definitely going to be very happy that you're, you know, there. Um, let's do that. Ammo, I need fiber, thatch. Fourteen. I'm going to put this on my hot bar. Now I recommend making your hot bar something that is gonna be very easy for you to access items. So, I usually like to keep my collecting items in the first couple slots. Um, so, my pick always goes in slot number one. My axe always goes in slot number two. When I get my scythe, my sickle, not my scythe, my sickle, um, I will always have that number three slot. My pike or my spears will always be in number four. I usually carry two crossbows or two bows, so those will always go in five and six. Number seven is my food. Number eight is bolas. Number nine is my water. And then zero is my spyglass. And obviously, I don't have any, all of that right now, so I'm just going to kind of put them wherever I can put them and leave it at that. Again, it, it's very grindy in the beginning. So you're just going to see me run around collecting a bunch of stuff. Actually, no, I do need that because I wanted to make those. See, now I need fiber. You're going to realize and figure out real quick that you're always going to be out of something. Especially when you first start out. There's always going to be something that you're going to be out of. Whether that be wood, thatch, fiber, uh, food, if you're out and about. You know, just always keep that in mind. Always make sure you're always mindful of what you have on you and such. That's a beaver. Am I close to beaver dams? But I do want to remind you all, if you all enjoy this episode, make sure you hit the like button. If you enjoy gaming videos of any way, shape, or form, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. So you can see each and every time that I upload. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm thinking I'm playing a different game and clearly I'm not um, have any questions comments or concerns or anything of those natures definitely leave you leave those in the comments below because I am try I mean I am here to try to help out my subscribers as much as possible again if you remember that what I talked about on the last episode a subscriber a subscriber reached out to me specifically and asked me if I could do this to help him out in his gameplay of arc. So, remember, all you got to do is ask. 
The worst I can say is no. And there's a really good chance that I will not say no. So just, again, reach out. Alright. So obviously you want to always have as, money, as many arrows on you as you possibly can. And then water skins are very important as well. So water skins are just set. They're skins made for water. You always want to make sure you have them on you and fill up with water at all times. Depending on where you are on the map, you can be hot or cold. Very hot, very cold. And if you run around a lot like me, you will lose water very quickly. I guess I can go ahead and start doing wood. It's like right now, you see in the top, top of the screen, I am cold. And you can see it on the bottom right of the screen as well. I hold H on my keyboard. It tells me I'm cold. Food decreases faster as the ambient temperature gets lower. So when I'm cold, I lose more food. When I'm hot, I lose more water. So you can always be mindful of these kind of things when you're playing. Because you can always be like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why am I losing so much water very quickly? Why am I? Why is my food going down? Um, obviously, those can be easy indicators of you know what's going on around you and what kind of environment your character is in. So I can put that in there. I can put that in there. That that that. That um, I really don't need berries per se. I know what I can make. Maybe. Oh, I need eight points. That's awkward. Especially in the beginning, you always want to make sure that you are keeping yourself busy. Because you're always going to need something. So, what do I want to work on next? I personally think... Why am I so heavy? I need all these berries. Probably should not have gotten rid of the narco berries. So narco berries are these blackberries right here. Can I make a mortar and pestle? I can. Did I make a mortar and pestle? That is the question. Did I even learn narcotics? I did not. So narco berries are used for keeping things knocked out. Um, they can be mixed with spoiled meat to make narcotics, which are a better form of a tranquilizer to keep things knocked out. Um, it needs, the narcotics need to be made in a mortar and pestle, which you can see here. I don't think I have the, I need more stone. Thankfully, I'm on the beach. So I should be able to run around the beach. That's a shell. That's a shell. Should be able to run around the beach. I say this and it doesn't happen. <laughs> so, uh, that really is upsetting. All right, well, I guess I'm going to give up on that. So you should be able to run around the beach and pick up stone. Any stone that's on the beach. There's usually tons of loose stone laying around. I don't know if, why for some random reason I don't have loose stone just chilling out. Alright, cool. 
Now we can make this. Put it on a hot bar and we can place it. Now I can make spark powder. Now spark powder is going to be used mainly for... Well, that's dark now. <laughs> I'll go ahead and gamma up so we can actually see. There we go. Spark powder is going to be used for keeping things lit. So anything that you would use wood in, you would therefore use spark powder in. So fires, refining forges, um, torches, anything along those lines. And it's going to last a lot longer than normal wood or thatch or anything else that you would put inside of whatever to cook, to smelt, to preserve, um, which that's something I wanted to get here fairly soon as a preser pres preserving bin. Preserving bin. I don't know how to say it. I don't know why. Sorry, my nose is stuffed up. I can't really talk a whole lot. Um, how many can I make? I can make two. I guess it'll help me out level-wise. Yep, level up. So I can now make narcotics. Ebola. And Ebola, not Ebola. And I highly recommend trying to get into wood structures as fast as you possibly can. So as you can see here, you unlocked wood, you unlock wood at level 11. So the, your first goal, obviously, when it comes to leveling up, is to unlock your bow and your arrows, your bola and your wooden stuff. Um, obviously, there's prerequisites for those kind of things, like for the bow, you need to learn the slingshot. For wooden stuff, you need to learn thatch stuff. Now, I am out of wood. Is that the only thing I'm out of that I need? I need, okay, yeah, I just need 50, 42 more wood. Actually, now I need more than that, because I want to make two. So, since I have that in my hotbar, I place it in my hotbar when I want to place them down. It automatically is there. So, if I hit the number that it's associated with, oh, my door's already open. Then it will automatically start to build one for me. Which is just a quick tip you will learn as you progress throughout the game. And again, I do apologize if there's things that I do that I don't talk about. I've been playing this game for a couple of years, and it's just <laughs> one of those things where I don't always think before you know I do. I just do. So again, I, I apologize if, it's, if I'm not very thorough. If you ever have any questions on something that I do or how I did something or anything along those lines, again, don't hesitate to reach out to me in the comments below. So let me see here. So I'm obviously going to need more fiber. Shocker there. I got no fiber from that. Little fiber from that. Some fiber from that. Oh man, I cannot wait until I'm able to get a sickle. Sickle collects nothing but fiber, so I can go up to this, this little thing right here and collect probably 50 fiber from it, just strictly from... Oh, uh, yeah. All right, so I need to create one of those, one of those. I guess eight of those. Uh, two of those. Yeah. All right, so let me see. I am now level 15. So as you can see, I can get to hide. So the hide armor is obviously going to be better for you as far as protection. It will keep you a little on the hotter side, so keep that in mind. But 
ultimately you you'll be fine um, let me see here yeah sure why not Now, one thing that you will notice is whenever I demolish something or whenever I replace something with something a little bit better, like for example, the thatch uh, foundations, the door, doorway, and the walls, I get materials back. It's not a lot. It is a small percentage of what I spent to get the material or get the to build it, but it is a way to get you know materials back. I could go for that drop. I need flint, which I guess I can get flint. Fairly easily. Alright, so I'm good. I just need wood at this point. Which wood's fairly easy to get. You just go chop a tree down. Now I'm going to... Yep, I figured that was going to happen. So I'm not really planning on cutting a whole lot out as far as what I do. Just so you're able to get a sense of exactly, you know, how long stuff takes. If you put your mind to it, especially, you know, building and such, it doesn't take long at all. I personally like to build on the go. I can make three of those. Versus four of those. I'll just make the ceilings. Why not? So as I build on the go... As I'm out, I can still collect. Alright, so I'll go to the base so I have more... ...be able to place these. And have more space weight-wise. So now watch. Let me level up first. Is there anything I can learn at level 16 that I want to learn? Large storage box is something I want to learn. Is there anything wooden I want to learn? Don't really need a ladder. Window, railings. Uh, I could learn more of my hide. Yeah, I'll go ahead and learn more hide. Okay, so now watch. I take my ceiling, I put it up there. I got seven thatch, two wood, five fiber. I get that for every ceiling that I destroy. I think I need 40. Yep. You always want to make sure, especially if you're playing on a server with other people, you always want to make sure you close your door. Um, because if you don't, obviously, if nothing's locked in your house, people can just come in and take whatever they feel like. I've had that happen before on a, uh, an official server. It's not fun. You know, ultimately, stuff does happen. But you always want to try to protect yourself, so to speak, as much as you possibly can. I learned that. And I don't think... No, I cannot learn that yet. So there's always going to be a progression in what you want to learn first. Um, you can learn what I learn first. Um... Again, it's completely up to you and however you want to do your play style. I know how I like to play. Oh, dude. Well. You always want to make sure you're watching where you place stuff. Because that obviously misplaced. Yeah, I'm going to need more fiber. I'm going to need what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm going to need, I've got plenty of thatch, I'm going to need 30 more fiber, and 280 wood total. But again, so you can, you know, kind of learn and play like I play. I'm just showing you the basics. Um, kind of going through a very, very basic playthrough. Um, if you want to see what, <laughs> you know, exactly how I play... Once I get into higher levels, definitely check out my streams. 
because my wife and I currently play this, and we're actually about to come back to the island. This is the original map that the game started on. It's been years since we played on the island. So if you're just now first getting into Ark, you're more than likely going to be playing on the island, unless it's a different map on one of the servers that you're on. So you'll be able to see where certain dinos are located, where certain resources are located, and all that fun stuff. Yeah, find a play style that you personally like to play like on here, because everybody's going to be different. So keep that in mind. Nobody's going to play it the same. Some people are going to like to, you know, learn more about building. Um, some people might want to look more into, you know, armor and weapons and stuff. Like, perfect example, my wife loves to build in this game. I don't mind building, but if I'm going to build, it's going to be a giant box when she builds like for example on our uh the map that we were playing on before the island she built a castle wasn't a giant castle but it definitely looked like a castle um and so she just really really enjoys doing it that way i thought i collected oh, are you serious i'm missing wood So yeah, everybody's going to have their different play styles of how they like to play it and such. I don't understand why there's a beaver down here. Don't see any dams. Well, just another thing. If you see beavers and you see dams, a beaver dam, don't touch it unless you're willing to run really fast and get chased down by the beavers. They do not like it when people touch their dams. And they will destroy you for it. Okay, now my base is fully upgraded to wood. So now, I can focus on trying to make a storage box. Get some more wood. Craft one of those. Slowly come back to my base. Alright. So now I take all of you. I leave. Demolish. Then I shall place this. Perfect. Now this has got a ton more space in it. I think, now don't quote me on this, I think the normal storage box is all based off of weight. And this has just got spots. I'm not 100% sure, but ultimately this is going to hold more than the normal storage box. So I would try to shoot for the large storage box as soon as you can so you can put a bunch of stuff into it like all the stuff I'm putting into it do I have any narcotics yet? I think I do I do so narcotics is going to take five necro berries and one spoiled meat so I'm going to go ahead and make those I guess I can show you how to tame real quick. So if I can find a dodo, this would be very simple and easy. So taming is something that you're going to want to get really good at really soon. Because taming a dino is going to definitely be worth it. Now, you choose what dinos you tame. Or what you want to tame. 
Because they're going to be your buddy. They're going to be your best friend. Smaller dinos like the Dodo are going to be the easiest to tame. You're male. I don't want a male. I want a female. You can punch. You can... Use a club. Oh, and you're underwater, aren't you? You're gonna die. Oh no, I need you. You've got food in your inventory. So you have obviously herbivores and carnivores. If you tame a herbivore, it takes berries. If you tame a carnivore, it takes meat. You just shove a bunch of food into it and let it tame. As you can see on the bottom, this is unconscious and taming. This is going to be Tina. I always have a Tina. <laughs> and you can pick it up. Was that poop? It was poop. You can pick it up and just kind of take it wherever. Now you can pick it up. As you can see, you can throw it as well. Double tap F. And you can throw it. I also recommend putting your dodos specifically on passive because they're obviously not going to do a ton of damage. It's a little tiny baby bird. I think that's an ichthyornis, that white flying thing over there. It's my least favorite dino in the entire game. They will steal your stuff. So as you can punch a dodo, or you can or punch a dino, you can hit it with a club, boomerang, whip, trank arrows, trank darts, stuff like that. But at the bottom you see unconscious, you can see taming, uh, taming effectiveness, uh, how much, how many levels it's going to take after it's done taming. Tina and Tony, you all will be mine. Actually, I can have her follow. Alright, cool. And then once you tame them, uh, some dinos you can ride, so you can get a saddle and ride them. Some dinos you obviously cannot, like a dodo. Uh, you can always go into your Ingrams and figure out what level you have to be in order to ride it. If it's rideable, and such like that. Um, you can always figure out exactly what you need to, in order to get the saddle. Some saddles require metal. Obviously, all saddles, if not most saddles, are going to require wood. Not wood. Hide. Some require wood. Some require chitin slash keratin. Alright. So I know I'm not closing my door, but I will literally be right back. I am the only person on this server. Obviously, you can see some dinos are not very fast or very smart. I've already lost Tina. Now, the reason why I like taming dodos, especially in the beginning, especially female dodos, is they will lay eggs. There we go. Obviously, eggs will be nourishment. Every dino has a favorite berry or food to eat. So you can figure out exactly what it likes to eat by trial and error. You look, look, up, look it up online. I personally use an app on my phone called the Dodo Dex. And what the Dodo Dex does is it tells you exactly how many arrows you need to knock out a dino, how many punches you need, how many whatever you need. Um, it's going to tell you how many of whatever kind of food you need to tame the dino. How long it's going to take. All that fun stuff. So definitely check that out. Again, it's Dodo Dex. D-O-D-O-D-E-X. 
Obviously, you can name your dinos as well. Still don't know where Tina's at. Again, not the brightest dodo. Really don't know where she went. Told her to follow me. Guess I should have paid attention. Fair warning though, if you do go the taming the dodo routes, they will make noises, they will get loud, they will get annoying. So that's why I just tend to tame a couple. Now you can see above their heads there, that little heart, that means that they're mate boosted. One male, one female, that means that they have better stats. So for some reason they would get into a fight, it'd be harder to take them, excuse me. Harder to take them down. Look, see? Dumb. She got stuck in a rock. But anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you all learned something from it. Make sure you tune in next time as I go about the arc trying to survive and trying to teach as well. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button. If you enjoy my gaming videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you can see next time I upload this gameplay and when I go live. Definitely check out all the links in the description below for all that fun stuff as well. But above all else, try to have an amazing day, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace!